So something crazy happened this weekend, my friends. I turned 31 years old. It's amazing. You know, there were several times throughout my life when I did not think I was going to make it to be this old. There were several times throughout my life when I thought I would be long gone before I got here. And yet, here I am, sitting here in the park, talking to a camera, 31 years old. It's incredible. You know, it's interesting because I don't usually put a lot of stake into my birthday. I don't, I don't really put a lot of stake into age or anything. You know, I don't believe that age means anything more than just a number on a birth certificate. I think it's how you act and how you feel and how you think that really determines your age. I, I know people that have been old folks since they were in their 20s and I know folks that are in their 70s that are still 18 at heart, you know, and, and everything in between. So I never really placed a lot of weight on a birthday but this year was a little bit different now this year was filled with a lot of introspection and a lot of reflection and pondering and thinking things through that i wasn't so much expecting you know i was i wasn't so much expecting at all but given the state of mind i've been in the last little while and the the hiccups in the road that i've experienced over the last year and well or a few months it's been a fascinating birthday, you know, and for a number of different reasons. You know, I think a lot of people had a very different view of what 2020 was going to look like for them. I mean, we all know what's going on in the world. We all know the plans changed dramatically. And, you know, I, I had a very, very exciting summer planned. You know, I was, I was planning to do a lot of really cool things, especially around my birthday. You know, I was I was planning to be in in BC on Savory Island, hanging out, spending my birthday with my girlfriend, and enjoying life and going on all these adventures. And it was going to be this crazy thing. And then things came up, and that didn't happen. And it's been really it's been really tough. You know, it's been challenging in a lot of ways because while I had a fantastic birthday you know I, I went out got to go out camping with some really great friends and we did all of my favorite things you know we hiked around in the wilderness we set off fireworks I got to swim in a river like it, it was really fantastic opportunity and yet here I am stuck in this loss this lack mentality about all the things that I was hoping to be doing this summer that I expected to be doing this summer and it's it's brought up a lot of interesting things and one of those things has been just the simply the realization that time doesn't stop you know time doesn't stop for anybody no matter what state of mind you're in no matter how depressed you're feeling no matter how rough life is time continues to march on minute after minute day after day week after week and i was sitting here thinking you know i'm 31 years old now and my friend who died a couple months ago was 67 now I'm definitely not old you know I have my whole life ahead of me I'm still very young but in a couple of years I would have been halfway to the end of his life and it's a very strange thing to start to realize that you're half you're almost halfway to the full lives that people you knew lived and you start to realize that like life boils down to ultimately two dates on a tombstone separated by a dash and you got to fit as much stuff as you can into that dash and sometimes things come up that change your plans like well all the stuff going on in the world this year and my depression and a lot of issues that come up and yet all those things slow you down they stop you from getting to where you want to be they don't stop you but they slow you down and they they present challenges to getting to where you want to be they've presented serious challenges to me getting to be the person that I want to be in I used to have this mentality like life was a practice you know I was practicing for the real thing I was learning stuff for when I grew up when I got older it was always this this time in the future and now as I look at life just a little bit differently and I look at the years that I have on this earth just a little bit differently I'm starting to realize that this isn't practice this is really it this is life this is what you got and it's up to you it's up to me to make the most out of that dash between those two dates that's that are going to be written on my headstone one day 
and it's up to me to fit as much life into that life uh, into that time that I have into this time that I have right now and it's up to me to become the person that I keep saying I want to be and it's up to me to do the things, make the decisions right now, right this instant that are going to get me closer to where I want to go in life because one day I might wake up, one day I will wake up and I'll look back and I'll think, man, I wish I was 31 again. I wish I was still that young and still had all this time ahead of me. Just like now, sometimes I wake up and think, man, I wish I was still 23, 24, 25 and still had all this time to go make all those crazy bad decisions and all this time to make all these mistakes and all this time, all this time to live. But I don't have that time, but I do have the time that's ahead of me. And I think that's why it's so important. That's why this project is so important. It's why it's so important for me to talk about this kind of stuff when it comes to my mind because this is, to me, this is living. This is sharing and teaching other people from my own experiences and getting the opportunity to connect with people even though because of the state of the world right now it's kind of difficult to do in person especially with people that are far away but man I can sure connect with people through this video medium and through this amazing tool that we have with the internet and like that's what fitting life into life looks like for me you know it's doing all those things that I always say I want to do you know I've always said I want to write a book well what's stopping me you know I've always said I want to I want to learn uh, to play the piano well what's stopping me you know I've always messed around with that kind of stuff but I never took it seriously and this weekend when I was out camping and I was having like the time of my life I was having a really fantastic time and yet I was stuck in the past thinking about all the stuff that didn't happen this summer all the stuff that I wished for all the stuff that I longed for I've realized that if you're stuck in that state of mind then it's very easy to not appreciate what you've got around you it's very easy to forget how wonderful life is on a day-to-day -day basis when you're so busy thinking about how you wanted things to be how you wanted life to look how you wanted to feel and the longer you spend in those times longer I spend in those times the more time goes by because time doesn't stop you know time keeps marching forward and I look back to when I was 28 just starting to get my life put back together and all the big plans I had and all the things I was gonna do and I did many of them don't get me wrong I'm super thrilled with what I did but I didn't accomplish the goals I wanted to why because I let myself get stuck on that downward spiral. I let myself get back into that dark place where I was ruminating on stuff that never went the way I wanted. I was, I was stuck on old heartbreaks. I was stuck on all kinds of past issues. And because of it, I forgot to realize the splendor of what I was living through. You know, Bob Marley had a really great quote, and it's kind of sad, but at the same time, it's poignant, you know? He said, one day you're gonna look back and wish somebody told you that these are the good old days. And it's so true, you know, you wanna live your life like this is the best moment you're gonna have. This might be the last moment you're gonna have because you don't know what the next few days are gonna bring. You don't know what the next year is gonna bring. You don't know any of that. But you do know what's going on right now and I do know what's going on right now and there's some cool stuff going on in my life. There's some really cool things happening and some really, really, really amazing stuff. And although I do wake up sad a lot of the time and I do find myself stuck in that tough place a lot of the time, I find myself ruminating on all that stuff that I wish for that never came true. Still, even though I find myself in that spot, I have to remember, and I, I'm getting better at it all the time, but I have to remember that now is what matters. Right now, right this second. I don't have to worry about what the future looks like because I can figure that out as I go. I don't have to worry about what the past looked like because it's over, and as long as I learned from it, that's what really mattered. So right now is all that matters. So, I'm, I'm done with waiting around, you know? I'm done with practicing. This isn't practice for the real thing. This is it. This is my life now. This, is, this has always been my life, but now I know for sure that this is what life looks like. And 
I know what I want to accomplish and I know who I want to be and I even know how to get there and how to do it. The trick now is continuing to ask myself that important question. Is this a decision that somebody I want to be would make? Is this the sort of thing that the person I'm trying to be would, would do with their life? Is this how the person that I want to feel like would spend this time that they have right this instant? And man, if the answer is no, it is so important to not make that decision. You know, if the answer is no, this is, isn't how the person I want to be would act in this situation, then I better ask myself a more important question, an even more important question. That is, what is the decision that the person I'm trying to be would make? What is the action that the person I want to be would take? And I should take that action because I might not get the chance again. I really, I very well might not. And that's what this whole year, 2020 year of loss has taught me. You know, I, I should have called my friend the week before he died and I was scared to. So I never did. I never got the chance to say goodbye properly. And when I stood with my ex-girlfriend at the airport, I should have waited that extra five minutes before I went to get on the plane because at that point, I was just looking forward to the next time I was gonna see her and looking back on it, that was the last time I was gonna see her. I don't get that option again. I don't get that chance to make the decision to spend those last few minutes. I don't get the chance to make that phone call again. I don't get the opportunity to go back and try my first business again or not quit at my first business. I don't get the chance to go back and not make all the mistakes I've made. I don't get any of that time back, but I do get the chance to make the best out of all the time I have ahead of me. And that's what I'm really trying to do. That's what I'm really trying to do. This last few days have been a little tough. I had so much fun over the weekend. I had so much fun being out in the forest and living life just naturally, right, in harmony. I got to swim in a river every single day. I got to go hiking through the forest with my friends, just having the most incredible time. And then when I came back into the city, it just felt so wrong. Just like, this isn't where I want to be. This isn't what I want to be doing. And yet, we have to sometimes, you know, we have to, we have to do the things to make the money we need to survive in this world. We have to do the things we need to do to be functioning, contributing members of society. But it's so important to make sure that those things are super aligned with the person that you want to be and super aligned with what you want to accomplish in life because, man, you can waste a lot of time. You can waste a lot of time doing stuff that you don't want to do with people that you don't want to be with and that's not getting you any closer to being the person you want to be and then when one day you might be you want, might be like me wake up and realize you're 31 years old and you don't have time to mess around anymore and I say that I mean I have all the time in the world I have my the rest of my life to do whatever it is I'm trying to do but at the same time I have huge goals. I have huge ambitions in this world. I have huge, huge things that I want to accomplish and every single day, the clock keeps ticking. And I w woke up this weekend realizing I'm 31 years old now and time's not gonna slow down, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna wake up one day and realize I'm 51 years old and I haven't done anything since. And I'll be damned if I'm going to wake up one day and realize I'm 65 and retiring from a job that I hate. I refuse. It's been four years since I've had a regular job and I will never have a regular job again because I don't need to. The kind of person that I'm trying to be doesn't have to work at a regular job because the kind of person that I'm trying to be creates the world that he wants to live in. You know, he's created the business that he wants to work for. He's created the ultimate working situation, the ultimate living situation, the ultimate family, the ultimate everything that makes him happy. And he lives life exactly for that, just to be happy.
I guess my point of all this is don't wait to be happy. Don't put your happiness on something in the future that some other point in time when something else happens, then you can be happy. Don't work your life away hoping to retire someday and then be happy because you might not get that time. And in the meantime, you're wasting the time you do have. You know, Don't spend your time trying to add more years to your life. Spend your time trying to add more life to your years. It's, it's a simple little concept, but man, does it ever make a lot of sense. Man, is it ever important to living a full life and li doing things the way you want to do. But anyway, it's been a, been a good weekend. Been a strange weekend. Been a lot of emotions going on the last couple days. A lot of thoughts, a lot of introspection, a lot of stuff. And I'm going to process more of it and it's gonna come clear and I'm gonna be able to do this video in five minutes instead of 16 one day but for any of you who are still listening to me rambling thank you for being here thank you for watching I so appreciate all the support um, it really is meaningful to me to be able to share uh, my feelings and my struggles and my life with you um, and hope that I really do hope that something that I have to say resonates and something that uh, something that in one of my stories that I tell strikes a chord for you and maybe you'll realize that you don't have time to waste this now is not the time to fuck around you know life moves on life continues on the great the world keeps turning time keeps moving forward so if you find yourself stuck on those negative spirals I get it I get it so much man I've been there so many times I've wasted years of my life stuck on negative spirals and just do whatever you can to pull yourself out of it, you know? Whatever you can. It's so important. And that's, I'm learning it more and more all the time. I'm so glad I've pulled myself mostly out, you know? I've, I've, I'm having a really kind of melancholy few days, but ultimately I'm doing better now than I have been for months. I'm feeling better than I have been for a really long time and that's important to me because it shows that I do know how to get myself out of those negative spirals. It knows that I do know how to make myself feel good and make myself happy and live the life that I want to live. It's just a matter of continuing to practice all that and continuing to get better and better every single day, you know? You don't have to get massively better every day, but if you're 1% better today than yesterday, then by the end of the year, you've done some pretty amazing things. But if you just stay stuck where you are, or even worse, slide back, you're gonna lose a lot of time. And you don't have a lot. And the time you do have is going away faster and faster all the time. So thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the love and support I've received. It really, really and truly does mean the world to me. Uh, I'm so thrilled to be able to share all this with you. I'm so glad that you take the time to watch these, and I'm really excited to see you again tomorrow.